What's going on everyone? Thank you for watching DevProCB's introduction to HTML5. Today we're going to be covering the audio tag. It's available to uh, most major browsers that are out there, so like Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox. Uh, those are going to be the, the major players essentially when it comes to HTML5. Uh, Safari also kind of leads the way with some of their uh, HTML5 support, but it's still not as popular as the uh, mentioned three. Overall, and this is not the start of flame war, it's just the, the reality of the situation itself. Um, now, what we need to get ahead and kind of address is the fact that um, the different types of formats are supported. So it'd be MP3, Wave, and Aug Vorbis, but not every browser supports every version of those file formats. So, for example, like if we did try to do an MP3 on Internet, I'm sorry, a wave on Internet Explorer, it wouldn't play. Now, from the time of this video, it didn't play, but that is not to say that you shouldn't add it into your code now, because if there is a support for it later, uh, those browsers will automatically pick it up and uh, display it, because don't forget, HTML5 is still essentially an experimental release. It hasn't been fully or officially released as of the, the date of this video as well. Um, so I just want to make sure you knew that. So not every audio format that's supported is supported by all major browsers at this time, but you should constantly keep yourself up to date just to make sure that if it does release, you can get and use one of the other smaller formats because obviously a WAV file is fairly large, um, higher quality, but fairly large overall. Um, but MP3s are a lot smaller, or even Aug Vorbis is a good format as well for that, which is an open source um, type of an extension. Um, let's get into jump into the code real quick. We'll go to audio. Now, um, since we're not doing JavaScript, uh, we're not going to be able to again create our own uh, MP3 type player or sound player at this point. This is definitely going to be something for another tutorial, so don't feel like we're, we're jipping you out. Uh, once again, like I said in the first video, this is going to be strictly HTML coding, period. So we're not trying to confuse you or put in advanced things. Uh, we're just trying to teach you the basics and getting you up and running. So um, we'll go ahead and do that. So to get controls showing, you have to type in the controls attribute and then close the tag. And remember, everything is closed. So we got to close that. And then all we do here is source, net source equals, get the name of that file. Okay, and that was a WAV file. Type is, remember we were talking about MIE types in a couple videos back. Um, so this is where this would fall into play for the HTML5 audio. Uh, this is audio forward slash wave, I believe is the proper term for it. Type equals audio hyphen forward slash wave. Yep, and that's right. Okay, we should be good on that. Refresh. That shows up. We push play. Here's another late development, and this news keeps coming in as we're talking here. President Kennedy, according to the Associated Press, and text... So you can see that the audio file plays from that local folder that we pulled it from. So we're good to go on that. So we understand that that works. So now how you add an additional source for a browser that may not support audio, you do source equals... Uh, Kennedy underscore Connolly dot mp3. I don't have an mp3 for it, but it doesn't matter because uh, Chrome will go from top down for what it supports, so it'll always pull the WAV file. Uh, and then type equals audio forward slash mpg and save that. And we should be good at that point. Um, but essentially, that's the audio tag for you. Um, you also have uh, some additional tributes um, that you can go ahead and do. So we have controls. We have autoplay. And what that'll go ahead and do is automatically start the Here's file. See, so it automatically started. So the minute that the page loaded, it automatically started. 
Then the other attributes that are available to you are going to be loop. So it doesn't play. If we bring this back down to the end, you'll see that it tries to replay this um, again. It'll be infinite amount of times. Here's another late develop okay. And then you can do muted. So if you want it to play, but you don't want it to have any sound, you can see here it's muted out. And, this news keeps coming. and you unmute it there. Uh, most major browsers will support it um, at this time that I'm aware of, uh, but you always want to make sure you keep up with that just to make sure that cause some of these attributes are not fully supported by all browsers. Uh, the ones I just mentioned should be good to go on just all the major browsers that are available. Uh, preload is another one. This essentially tells the browser to uh, preload the data before it even um, plays the actual uh, data itself. So it should be loaded when that page loads before it actually plays or, or goes on to any other command. This helps with um, very slow connections because it makes sure that the full file is downloaded first before playing it. So it doesn't really stream it. It downloads it and then streams uh, the audio itself. And I believe that covers just about all the other things. And you can also um, combine these. So you just space them out. So you can do preload, auto, play, and loop all together. So essentially it'll preload it, it'll auto play it, and it'll loop it. Here's another. All right. So we do that. We're killed. And Here's it loops again. Okay. I mean, so that covers the audio tags. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to get and ask those questions below on the comments section. Once again, this is Carlos from DevPro CB.